Hi, I'm Marisol. Welcome back to my channel. I had said a couple of videos before that I had uh, filmed and edited some videos but had not really done the voiceover um, and there was kind of behind on it. So today um, I am going to be finishing this video that should have been posted about three weeks ago, maybe a month ago, but life happens and I just didn't get around to finishing the edit, which is basically the voiceover. <laughs> so I am here using Planners Anonymous Into the Wild subscription kit. Their subscription kits have changed for this year, um, but this was, if I'm not mistaken, I want to see, I want to say this was a 2022 or maybe 2023 um like january um kid i received it really late and then wasn't able to plan with it so i thought this year that i planned my january um monthly spread with it because it is a beautiful kit i love all the blues i love that it's you know this is like mountain would like it reminds me of the pacific northwest um where i currently live in and therefore i like been itching to use it but couldn't find the perfect time till now so i'm doing a, a traditional monthly page as um just you know writing down some things that i have for the month birthdays appointments important dates um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do. Um, I am not going to really like heavily decorate this like I would normally. Um, but I am going to use some die cuts. I am going to use boxes from Mojo Jojo's plans. And I believe I'm not, yeah, I think I've only used Mojo Jojo, um, plans boxes. For this one, I combined it with some washi tape from the washi tape shop, some happy planner washi, and then some other washi. I'm not sure where they from or where I got it from. Maybe a bundle on Amazon or something. So I also am going to use some of the papers that come in this kit and I'm going to tear it up. I'm not going to use a whole lot of the paper. I just want it in the specific corners just to give it kind of that wintry snow feel. So January usually is a pretty packed month for us uh, just because there's a lot of things we have going on um, plus um w this is our anniversary uh month my husband and I anniversary is our fourth anniversary and then it's my birthday um I also have a couple of other birthdays on here um then it, it's kind of a special year if you know I recently had a baby who is now an infant how fast does that go the time just is flying um and so he's turning for he turned four months in january so you know i just want to write all those fun things on my page in my pages i've also um decided that I was going to use the sidebar to kind of um, write, I guess, like kind of a little bit of uh, things that I want to remember about January. And so I, I use the long box. You'll see that I kind of write happy times. And now that I have kind of like the after the pen and I'm looking at it, I really like how it turned out. Um, but back to this um, right here, as you can see, I'm just layering my washi. I took out a lot of washi. Like I said, um, I have some happy planners, some washi tape shop. And then I know the light blue kind of 50, 15 millimeter is from... Amazon, but I don't remember where I got that plaid washi. 
It could be from Live Love Posh, but I'm not sure. Or it could have been a freebie that I've gotten from the Go Girls, no, Go Girls Gitter or Gitter. I will make sure to link her shop below. Usually when I get some like really nice washi that I haven't found anywhere, it's from the Go, Go Girls Gitter. I think that's how it is, her washi. She has an et she has a shop on Etsy and she sells washi, a lot of variety of washi, which is really nice. Um, so I kind of whited out a couple of things because I thought that I would just write them in since I was already gonna write a lot of this stuff in. I didn't want to just leave one on it. Um, so I, I just whited all the holidays and even kind of the um national um other holidays on here um like six sticker day I guess so here like I said here's that long box that I'm going to use on the side for kind of to memory keep some of the happy times that I've had um during the month I'm going to white out that uh part I honestly I white it out and then I realized that after I white whited out the whole thing when I put the die cut on it of the trees it um covered most of it up like you can't even see the white out um but anyways it's okay um you weren't gonna see it anyways had I put the sticker on it but I didn't think when I was putting it on I didn't think it was gonna cover the whole thing so that's why I, I whited it out now, I love this kind of flower sticker, and I've always wanted to make a bookmark with it, um, but instead, I decided to decorate the middle piece, and I'm going to take it all the way to the top. I didn't have, and I probably should have put like some florals on the bottom, but I don't remember taking some out, and I really like how that just that little portion on the top looked with, the, with that die cut of the flowers. And I just left it like that. So here I'm just aligning my pages because I want to make sure that it's not crooked. When So when I cut it, I get a nice straight line. Um, usually when I do stickers and I put it in the middle, I just use my X-Acto knife or my craft knife. And I slit the middle of it and I find that to be the easiest way to do that. However, this is a die cut. It's a little bit thicker than stickers. So I had to go in with my scissors and you didn't get to see that part because I had to really get close to it to cut it up and make sure I didn't knit my pages in between. So here I just added another stripe washi um, on top of it. I felt like it needed that kind of blue to tie everything together. And so here I am just putting on, starting to place boxes where I need them. I also want to take the time to say thank you to all of those who have recently subscribed. Thank you. I just want to say thank you so much. Um, I'm trying to get better at having a consistent schedule of posting. However, as a mommy and a mother of five, it is hard because, you know, duty calls and being a mommy is um, my first job and then everything else comes second. So nonetheless, thank you so much for subscribing and I hope you find something useful and entertaining here. And yeah, let me know what are you liking so far if you are returning thank you so much for your continuing support and hopefully um yeah we can narrow down this uh scheduling stuff so that we can uh, be a little bit more consistent and you can have a little bit of more um scheduling when it comes to the videos that i'm posting the other thing that I want to say is this is one, I believe, of three or four videos. I'm not sure if I've posted them yet, 
that I'm behind on. So I am trying to, I'm, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to put in old with new, kind of interlace them. Um, so maybe a week you'll have more than another week, but I'm going to try to get current before I have to return to work, which I have to return to work in April. So yeah, let's just hope that we can get this all nice and done uh, before then. And just keep building this channel. Uh, so I think I placed all the boxes that I need. If you check that out, the one on the 21st, I did cut it down to size to fit. Um, it's easy to cut down your stickers when you need to cut them down. So don't be scared of that. Just cut them up and use them. Um, I know that I used to be afraid of cutting up my stickers, um, but not anymore. So I use what I need and what I don't need. I discard because there's so I have so much stickers that I just want to use uh, what I have. So back to my, this plan with me, I am placing some snowflakes. These are some die cuts from Planners Anonymous. And so I'm just going to place those, scatter them around the uh, spread. I did mention before that they recently changed their how they do their um, boxes and subscriptions. So I do have my subscription um, box that came, the new one, uh, recently, and I am going to do a thorough flip through of that in my channel so that you can see uh, what's new compared to what they previously have so you'll get to see that now here i'm adding some quotes the quotes that i thought i found the best that kind of matched with this are from according to ali and according to ali has amazing stuff i mean not only her quotes that are hand lettered by her beautiful amazing hands but she draws and sketches every single art that she sells on in her shop. So check her out. All of the links will be below. Um, even for Planners Anonymous, I don't. I'm not a stylist anymore, so you don't get a discount when you sign up. Um, but I'll have the link below so you can check out the website. Um, and according to Ali is an affiliate link. So if you use that, I will greatly appreciate it. So here I am. I am adding some more snowflakes to my pages because I just thought it needed something up there. And now I'm just going to go in with writing my plans. So I'm going to start off with the girls had a vaccination. Ugh. Blah, 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 blah. So sorry for that. The girls had a vaccination appointment on the 2nd. Um, then I moved down to my birthday. I want to put, make sure that I annotate Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And then Uriah, you know, he uh, turned four months old in January. So I want to make sure that I annotate that. Then up here, the girls start their back to school on Wednesday the 3rd, and Bella had an appointment at 3, a medical appointment. So I also wanted to make sure that was in my um, monthly. I wanted to make sure that we don't miss Enzo's birthday i believe he turned four because he's a couple of months older than isabella then here in this house <laughs> in the franklin home we celebrate three kings day or epiphany day um it's a tradition that we used to do in puerto rico and i brought that tradition here and we celebrate it every year so the girls went out and picked out um some grass and put water underneath their beds to make sure that the camels were fed and uh, had their water available. 
Uh, Sabdiel is my nephew and it's his birthday on the 10th. I have a lot of family members that are birthday are like all close together, the 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. So I want to make sure that I put that down. I always annotate planning with Bumble's Zoom calls and live streams because I forget them. So I like putting them in my monthly and then transferring them throughout the week. I wanted to make sure that I uh, remember Sicker Day. However, I still forgot it um, when I did my spread. So yeah, that happened. And then my anniversary, I always annotate um, when Franklin has duty weekend. Franklin's my husband. No, that is not his first name. But we met in the army and I've always called him Franklin and that's how we will continue to call him. So yeah, he has duty weekend and so I always annotate that. I have a VA appointment at 8 a.m., which is unusual, but I'm going to put that there. Um, again, planning with Bumble, um, live streams and Zoom calls, I like to annotate those on my um, monthly. And then we're going snow tubing on the 27th. However, for those, right, it wasn't actually a 27th, it was a 28th. There were some scheduling issues, but I had already put it for the 27th, and that's where I kept it. So here is where I'm annotating that my happy list, and that's all I write. I just put happy times, and I put some dots, like some bullet points to go down, and then I went back, and you'll see that in my flip through, that I went back and annotated all my happy times. So I did, after completing my spread, add this acetate, but I remove it because the shine is distracting. Still, it's a beautiful acetate that comes with the subscription kit and the snowflakes are super cute. So yeah, you might want to try it if you are subscribed to Planners Anonymous uh, kits. So this is my completed spread. I annotated everything I needed. I have my side box. And if you managed to stay this long, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.